All right then. Let's see what the fuss is about. <laughs> open mind, open mind. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria. Good God, what have I got myself into? But as time went on, the younger sister became resentful. The ponies relished and played in the day her elder sister brought forth, but shunned and slept through her beautiful night. Well, if my sister got the two billion, billion, billion ton fusion ball for her birthday and I got a lump of rock, I'd be pretty pissed off too. One fateful day, the younger unicorn refused to lower the moon to make way for the dawn. The elder sister tried to reason with her. Couldn't she raise it anyway? Is it, what, one at a time? Magical fantasy land of talking horses. Using the magic of the elements of harmony, she defeated her younger sister and banished her permanently in the moon. Dude! What? And harmony has been maintained in Equestria for generations since. Oh, so it's a fairy tale stroke creation myth? Right, oh. Hmm, elements of harmony. Something about her character's design. It's just sort of... Something's not sitting right. Oh, God, it's the fringe! Fringe, 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 bloody fringe! Wait, what was that pause for? Oh, intro time. Oh, God! No, 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 I'm not doing that again. No, <clears throat> no. Does that pony do anything except study? I think she's more interested in books than friends. Well, I do wonder what this show is about. Is that her house? What's that for? Well, it was a gift for Moondancer, but... A squeaky toy? Is Moondancer a dog? But we're on a break! No, no. No, 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 no! What the fuck? Oh, wait, unicorn. Right. <laughs> Wingardium Livioth. It's over here! Ah. Antisocial and inconsiderate. The stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about nighttime eternal. Spike, do you know what this means? We have a plot device. Take a note, please, to the princess. Oh, Doki. And a prehensile tail. Prissy, Prissy. Threshold. Where? A uh, brink. Your assistant can't spell. Really. Okay, okay! <gasps> there! It's on its way! Um. <laughs> right. Yes. Magic. Burnt. Post. There is more to a young pony's life than studying. So I'm sending you to supervise the preparations for the Summer Sun Celebration in this year's location, Ponyville. How is that thing staying level? And why are they running? Look on the bright side, Twilight. The princess arranged for you to stay in a library. Doesn't that make you happy? Yes. Yes, it does. You know why? Because I'm right. I'll check on the preparations as fast as I can, then get to the library to find some proof of Nightmare Moon's return. Antisocial, inconsiderate, and presumptuous. But the fate of Equestria does not rest on me making friends. 
No foreshadowing here. Nope. None at all. Maybe the ponies in Ponyville have interesting things to talk about. Is that a main character? Oh, Jesus, there's like 50 of them. Come on, Twilight, just try. Why do you get your conditioner? <laughs> hey, he's not that bad. I find that statistically unlikely. It certainly won't do the bark any favours. <laughs> oh, you're the stereotype at all, are you? Why don't I introduce y'all to the Apple family? This here's Apple Fritter, Apple Bumpkin, Red Gallop, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Caramel Apple, Apple Scooter, Apple Tart, Baked Apples, Apple Brioche, Apple Cinnamon Crisp, Big Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and Granny Smith. If the ones named after a type of apple have got pictures of them on their asses, why does she have a pie? Also, it's a toffee apple, not a caramel apple. Aren't you gonna stay for brunch? That bow is completely unsuitable for agricultural work. This is a flagrant disregard for simple health and safety regulations. Ugh, I ate too much pie. How long do you stay? Nine months? <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> How about an apology? You flew into her. <laughs> Let me help you. Yes, that is how water vapour works. Yes, I'm terrible at sarcasm. It may be the lowest form of wit, but it's wit nonetheless. And I've got nothing else. Christ, she looks like me from three years ago. Sit with a little less and a little more. Wow, that wasn't forced or anything. Wait, it's kind of pretty once you get used to it. No, no it isn't. Beautiful indeed, not the decor. <sighs> you are a dragon. Oh, goodness no. Why, Rarity, you are a talent. Yep, that's another one. Wonderful fashion horse. Wasn't she wonderful? Focus, Casanova. How does she know who Casanova is? Unless this is some sort of post-apocalyptic, post-human planet of the ponies? What's next on the list? <clears throat> oh, uh, music! It's the last one! Right on cue. I get the feeling they won't fill the music hall. Excuse me, sir. I mean, no offence, but your rhythm is just a teeny tiny bit off. Wait, the birds understand speech? A one, a two, a one, two, three. Hello! Dick move, purple horse! Read the situation. Move, yellow horse! I've never seen a baby dragon before. Wait, baby dragon? Don't they have child labour laws in this insanity realm? And what do dragons talk about? Well, what do you want to know? Absolutely everything. Ugh. I'm with the purple horse here. Do you want to hear about today? Oh, yes, please. I've already seen it, so... Please, no. Oh, yes, please. How did we get here so fast? This is where I'm staying while in Ponyville. That's a library. 
that's a library. Did I skip that about the library being a tree? Whatever. Aww, look at that. He's so sweepy he can't even keep his widow balance. The fuck is up with her neck? Got a name, so yeah, another one. Were you surprised? Were you? Were you? <laughs> Very surprised. Libraries are supposed to be quiet. <laughs> well, that's silly. What kind of welcome party would this be if it were quiet? I mean, duh, boring. You see, I saw you when you first got here, remember? You were all hello, and I was all, <gasps> remember? You see, I never saw you before, and if I never saw you before, that meant you're new, because I know every pony. And you're going to get right on my tits, aren't you? Anyone yet? Maybe you haven't met anyone yet. You must not have any friends. I just do a great, big, ginormous, super duper spectacular welcome. Are you all that, Sugar Q? <laughs> Hot sauce. Wait, what did she think was in the bottle? Because it kind of seems like she was trying to spike the punch. So is this going to be like a show where they kind of slip in jokes for adults? Like Powerpuff Girls, Scooby-Doo? Uh. Hey Twilight! Pinkie Pie's starting to the tail in the pony! Wanna play? I am watching a cartoon about Technicolor talking tetrapods having a rave in a library in a hollowed out tree as a warm up for a party to celebrate their sun god. This is my life right now. You really should lighten up, Twilight. It's a party! <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. So the way that she's changing her tone is kind of familiar. Wait, Tara Strong? As in Tara Strong, Tara Strong, Tara Strong, Tara Strong. Okay. Phillies and gentle calls. Remain calm, every pony. Every pony. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? She's gone! <gasps> we can see that. Nightmare Moon! I'm guessing this is our bad guy. Girl. Pony. Horse. <laughs> Who's actually quite bad? Dark lightning bolts. Simmer down, Sally. Please don't pull horses' tails. She ain't no spy, but she sure knows what's going on, don't you, Twilight? And it just so happens that these are the five that follow her from the hall. The Elements of Harmony, a reference guide. How did you find that? It was under E. Oh. Don't like being taken down a notch, do you? There are six Elements of Harmony. But only five are known. Kindness, laughter, generosity, honesty, and loyalty. Subtle. The sixth is a complete mystery. Really? We're sticking to you like caramel on a candy apple. Toffee apple! Especially if there's candy apples in there. What? Those things are good. No, Pony knows. Yes. It's a thing. Okay, I'll give you that one. Fashion horse has got some moves. My hair. Really? Actually, that's kind of creepy for a good show. When I was a little filly and the sun was going down. Please tell me she's not. Tell me she's not. Don't steal my reactions. Wait, this is in universe? She just laughed to make them disappear. Ha, ha, ha. What? Silly magic horses. How are we going to cross this? 
get the flying ones to carry you, like earlier. Tacky little cloud of purple smoke just to whisk past me and to have my beloved moustache clean off. And now I look simply horrid. Oh! Well, isn't he just fabulous? My moustache! How wonderful! You look smashing! It looks awful, it's the wrong colour, the wrong shape, and moves completely differently. Fashion fail. Besides, it'll grow back. So would the moustache. So would the moustache. Stop stealing my reactions! Stop doing that! Get the flying ones to carry you, like earlier. Duh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Wait, what? But first, we need a captain. The most magnificent. Yep. Swiftest. Yes. Bravest flyer in all the land. Yes, it's all true. We need you. Stroke that ego. Good job, Rainbow. See? I'd never leave my friends hanging. And then the bridge collapses because it's still clearly rotten. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You're kidding, right? She can teleport. She can fucking teleport. Teleporting magic horses. No. No. <gasps> but where's the sixth element? <laughs> what a twist! What? References are a crutch. Well, I've got a limp ignited inside me when I realized that you all are my friends. You have known each other for less than 24 hours. You see, Nightmare Moon, when those elements are ignited by the, the spark that resides in the heart of us all, it creates the sixth element, the element of magic. What? Seriously, why? Like, why not love or understanding or tolerance. Why magic? No, your necklace. It looks just like your cutie mark. Your what? Cutie mark. Cutie mark. Cutie mark. Cutie mark. Cutie mark. I thought you were just spouting a lot of hooey, but I reckon we really do represent the elements of friendship. I thought it was the elements of harmony. Hail the Sun Horse! I saw the signs of Nightmare Moon's return, and I knew it was you who had the magic inside to defeat her. Unlike you, who done it before. We were meant to rule together, little sister. Sister? Why is the purple one surprised? She was the one reading the book at the beginning, which quite clearly mentioned they were sisters. Don't ruin the moment. I've missed you too. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Music's kinda like the end of Return of the Jedi, but with 
kettle drums. Are you not happy that your quest is complete and you can return to your studies in Canterlot? That's just it. Just when I learn how wonderful it is to have friends, I have to leave them. 24 hours. I, Princess Celestia, hereby decree that the unicorn Twilight Sparkle shall take on a new mission for Equestria. She must continue to study the magic of friendship. She must report to me her findings from her new home in Ponyville. <laughs> so her new job is to hang out with her friends and then write about it to her sun god. Yes, I have a feeling you are going to get right on my tits. Sausage. Pasta. Mm-hmm. Right. So, that was something. Hmm. Where should we start? Oh, is it what I expected? Um, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that it was better than you would expect it to be, if you know what I mean. Obviously, you know, this thing's huge. There's going to be something. No in the overall quality, I think. Let's start with... Start with the bad things, shall we? <laughs> that intro. Wow. <clears throat> that was everything that is expected of My Little Pony. Cutesy overload. Especially like the bookends. The bits in the middle. Mm. But, oh, uh, ugh, no, no, <laughs> won't be doing that again. Uh, other bad things, some plot points basically, but some of the plot holes, well they're kind of minor really. Still quite a few cutesy bits in there that I didn't really care for, to be honest. Some characters I didn't really care for. Good things. Animation. Much better than I expected. Good all round, uh, let alone for a Saturday morning cartoon. Um, really crisp, smooth. A lot of detail in the movement. Uh, animators know how horses moved. A very, you know, exaggerated, stylized, but you know, they have uh, know something about anatomy. Backgrounds were not half assed. Some of the, the special effects were good, although the rainbow at the end looked a bit OTT. But I think that was kind of the point. Plot, fairly simple. Couple of holes, but overall, beginning, middle, end. Nothing too boring. I think it's kind of like with The Office. No, 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 not that one. Yes, thank you. I can't stand that ultra deadpan, cringe-based humour. It just doesn't work for me. But I can tell it's really well acted, really well written, well edited, directed, etc. So, kind of along the same lines, I think. Quite possibly. But I have to see. Don't know if the characters are stereotypes, like fashion horse and apple horse, or if they're archetypes, which is a subtle but important difference. Main character is not your Red Ranger, big, perfect hero, antisocial, kind of a bit upper self, actually, which was interesting. Voice acting was good. So, my interest is piqued. Oh, although whether or not the rest will stand up to pilot, 
we shall see. I won't be watching that intro again. <laughs> no. No. God, this thing stinks.